Hey y'all, it's Kate from The Literary Apothecary, and first before I get into my review, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our first two Patreons and our and book addicts. Thank you to Evie and Leslie, and as always, I have the Patreon information and our Discord information down below if you want to join in. No pressure, but just to throw that out there if you wanted to join. Now into our review of From Blood and Nash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I absolutely loved this book so much. Thank you to Anya and Abby and Ariel and um, Angela and Sharon and Charmaine and Zara and Murr for all creating this group where we can talk about this book together. It was so, so good. Such a good book. So in from Blood and Ash. This is book one in the Blood and Ash series. Um, we get Poppy, who is our protagonist, and she is the maiden. And um, this book, so this book takes place in another world where there's Craven, which are like kind of like vampire esque creatures. We get, we have Wolven, which are basically like werewolf type creatures. We get the Ascended, who are people chosen to serve God, and they come kind of immortal, but also can be killed. Um, and they are kind of like the head vampires. Um, so Poppy is basically like the symbol of all of this, and we follow her through her journey, learning the truth about the history and the truth about her people. We have war, we have romance, we have sex, there's supernatural fighting, and it was just a really exciting and well-written book. I give this book five out of five, five out of five stars. Uh, the writing, like I said, the writing in this book was just so good. Armand Trout's writing style was so smooth and bingeable. I often found myself reading 50 pages when I thought I had only read like 20 pages. So it was that kind of addictive writing that you just can't stop once you get going. Um, and I, ne like, I never lost interest in the book or the characters or the story. I never lost track of the story, what was going on. Um, you kind of learn the story as you go through the book, so it's not like a book that you've read one chapter and you know exactly what the story is about, but it's a book that you kind of learn the story as the book goes on, but I enjoy those books, I guess more like a mystery, but I liked kind of, because I like to go into the book blind and not really know what the book is about, I enjoy those books more because you can just learn the story as the character is learning it. Um, I can't wait for book two, which is called A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire, and I'm hoping to maybe get to that in March before book three comes out in April, so I'm really looking forward to that and seeing where this story goes. Um, and my favorite characters are Poppy and Tawny, which is Poppy's like best friend there, essentially. Um, it's very rare that my favorite character is the protagonist and the main character but I really the the book was taught told mainly through Poppy's point of view and usually I side more with the side characters and I can relate with them more but I was there with Poppy this whole time and I wasn't bored with her point of view because she was learning stuff as we were learning it and I really enjoyed just her narration style so my favorite characters were Poppy and Tawny was just a great best friend. She was like, you know, at times she told Poppy that Poppy should not be doing this, but she was also there to support her through whatever she wanted to do. Um, and then there's two quotes that I pulled out from this book, and that is, physical pain was almost always hot, but the kind that couldn't be seen, it was almost always cold. And, and then the second quote is says, my heart seemed to restart and was now in a race with itself. And I just loved that quote because you know that feeling of like your heart being stopped and then 
going forward and then just racing. Um, and so, like I said, I absolutely loved this book. Thank you, Anya, for sending it to me at Christmas time and for pushing me to read it because I absolutely loved it and I can't wait for book two. So five out of five stars for From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And um, like I said, I'll post a spoiler-free review and then the full review with spoilers on Wednesday. And if you've read From Blood and Ash, let me know what you thought of this. Did you love it as much as I did and the rest of my group? Um, also, let me know what you thought of book two without giving spoilers away. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell um, whenever so you get notifications whenever we put new videos up and keep reading and I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.